Well, meanwhile, in its half-yearly report uh, to the U.S. Congress, the Pentagon says the insurgency has proven resilient with sustained logistics capacity and command and control. Efforts to reduce insurgent capacity have not produced measurable results. Well, one of the issues which has been complained about by President Karzai is the increased use of U.S.-led special forces. And I'm joined here by Dr. Parag Khanna, who's uh, from the uh, New America Foundation. But you are here because you've also been an, an advisor to U.S. special forces. Do you believe that the kind of figures we're seeing uh, of uh, the number captured can be believed? It's hard to say exactly. Yes, certainly many dozens and hundreds of, of Taliban leadership have been either killed or captured in recent weeks and months, uh, obviously uh, on a scale that increases with the intensity of attacks. But the question is actually whether or not those are senior figures, whether they're significant figures, whether this so-called decapitation of senior leadership is going to result in a slowing down of the insurgency. Yeah, but you've been inside. Can we believe the figures or are they, in are they inflated? Uh, something like 300 either killed or captured, mid-level, high-level leaders. No, I think that's a very plausible figure, especially given the, 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 the thousands of individuals who we believe to be members of the Taliban. Now, one other issue which has been raised by Defense Secretary Gates is that efforts to reduce insurgent capacity, such as safe havens and logistics support, originating in Pakistan and Iran, have not produced measurable results. Does that suggest that the drone attacks inside Pakistan, which officially never take place, aren't having an impact. It reminds us that special forces strikes, drone attacks are a tactic, not a strategy. The strategy rests on cooperation between Pakistan, Afghanistan, and the United States. That cooperation has failed to truly materialize. Unless Pakistan is able to do the kinds of things that we all know they're supposed to be doing in terms of the military activity and increasing governance in the area and those kinds of things, going against the Haqqani network and other uh, sort of supporters of the Taliban, we know that the insurgency well, yeah, is going to Well, but what I'm asking you is, are the drone attacks actually removing the Taliban threat from Pakistan? No, clearly not. And I, again, it's just a tactic, not a strategy. The much deeper set of activities that needs to take place on a military, political, and other sorts of levels is not in place. The drone strikes are really the most visible symptom of the West's uh, need to do something in the absence of a broader strategy. Dr. Parakana, thank you very much indeed for joining us, uh, former advisor to U.S. Special Forces in Afghanistan. Coming up in the next edition of The Hub, plenty more.